Hi, and welcome to this Spoon tutorial. The goal of this tutorial is to show you how to submit an abscess request. You have a choice. You can log in on your internet navigator or on our apps. Our native mobile apps are available on iOS and Android. For this tutorial, we will be focusing on a web interface. We will show you how to do that from a basic collaborator account, meaning an account mainly used for submitting timesheets, expense notes, and absence requests. Once connected to your collaborator account, from the dashboard, click on My Absences. You will find the tab Absences, which allows you to submit absence requests and to send them to your validators. Firstly, you will find an absence planning section in order for you to have a monthly view on your submitted absence requests, whether they were validated or not. This view allows you, for instance, to see your absences this month before submitting a new one. In order to create a new absence request, it's very simple. Click on the plus button. To make it easier, if your administrator has set it up for you, a summary of your absence balances is shown above new absence requests. In this example, the absence balance and absence types are set according to French label law. Of course, your interface might be set up differently by your administrator. Here, Michael has accumulated a total of one day of compensatory time and 10.08 days of paid leave, as we see in the estimated balance slots. If you have access to it and wish to learn more about how to read your absence balance, check the description for the link to the tutorial. Since he has some days of paid leave in his balance, Michael wants to plan days off in May to go on vacation. We have the right type of absence, paid leave. Let's select the month of May. Let's not forget to choose the days by entering one for each and we can now click on Create, and then Save. When saving, your balances will automatically update. The Attachments section appears after saving and allows you to add supporting documents if needed. You also have the possibility to add another absence request by clicking on the plus button once again. So, let's add another one. Michael has already requested a couple days in April for an extended weekend, but he believes he might not be available due to traffic jam after the national holiday. Let's add another absence request for half a day, 0.5. We can now validate and submit Michael's absence requests to his validators. We can see here that the validation workflow is now assigned to James Boone. If we go back to the Absences tab, we can see that the requests were added to the Absence Planning as unvalidated absences. We can also check the progress of your requests with their states. We have two validated absences and one unvalidated absence. Of course, when your last validator accepts or declines your request, you will receive an email notification. And that's it! Simpler than ever! To gain more knowledge on how to use Boon Manager, you can also check our online help tools, follow our webinars, or contact your favorite Boon coach. Thank you for watching.